Jerry Jones, uh, the owner of the Cowboys, who the Browns play week one, by the way, um, about his star wide receiver, C.D. Lamb, and his contract situation. He wants a new contract. Here's Jerry Jones. Is there urgency? Are you saying there's a sense of urgency as you begin the preseason to get C.D. done? No. No? Why do you say that? I'm just, uh, just, uh, I went to high school or I went to college. I don't know why I said it, but I'm just saying I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a sense of urgency about getting it done. It's a long Pick any reason you want. Well, and, and C.D. Lamb saw that and responded, LOL. G. Bush, the, it's important to note, not only is Jerry Jones the owner, he's the de facto GM. So I, that's going to get messy, too. I don't know what he's – maybe it's at this point in his, in his, it's about the intention, and maybe he just likes the attention of people talking about the Cowboys, but, you know, this doesn't make very good business decisions, right? This doesn't make very good business sense. Like, like when you're dealing with wide receivers, re, wide receivers by trade are emotional creatures, right? They're like, man, look, bro, you can't come out and say it. He said it in a joking manner like, C.D. Lamb didn't put up 1,700 yards and 130 some catches and 12 touchdowns. He acted like he he wasn't that guy. And Jerry Jones has a problem. It just seems he had issues with Terrell Owens. He had issues with Des Bryant. He had issues with Amari Cooper. He laughed, basically laughed and said, Amari Cooper, he's he over the hill. Get rid of him. Like, you know, and then you go and get C.D. Lamb and you draft C.D. Lamb and, and you hit on him. And you're a team in the Dallas Cowboys who have not done nothing in the playoffs, and you need all hands on decks. Nobody wants to be reminded that they're being underpaid. Like, especially when you got the receiver market exploding, right? All around you. That's why Brandon Ayuk wants to get one against another deal, right? They're looking around saying to some of these other guys that's getting this money, like, I'm better than that guy. I'm way better than that guy. And you take into consideration you got to play without injury. You got to make sure that you can you can you can maximize it now because the second you lose a step, they're gonna be telling you we're gonna have to take a pay cut. We've seen it here. We had we had a prime time receiver. We thought in Odell Beckham Jr. until he wasn't prime time no more. It don't really be working like that. You better get what you can when you get it. And I, C. D. Lamb is is unfollowed him. Took all the stuff off the Cowboys. Now he doesn't have very much leverage, but. You know, you're looking at the the, the the Dallas Cowboys. I don't envy them. They still got to pay Dak Prescott if they are they're not going to pay him. You still got guys coming off like the end, like Mike, Michael Parsons, who wants to reset the market for defensive ends. And you got C.D. Lamb. When you, when you hit on all got all those guys, it's great when you're paying you paying them pennies on a dollar. But uh, when they max out and they they want that money. Now you got to make some some difficult choices. So I, I don't want to be Jerry Jones, man. Yeah. The the other thing is I hope the I hope they get all upset and he holds out and doesn't play. We doesn't go into training camp. Doesn't play in the preseason. Let him come out and try to run full go week one without any practice. Mythical hamstring injury. Yep. I'll take all that. Listen, yep. I, I ain't above that. Nope. <laughs> nope. I have as much chaos as you can possibly have in Cowboys camp uh, up until week one. Yes, sir.